So, this is Thelmir. Um, it's a lake I haven't really photographed before. Well, it's actually more of a reservoir than a lake, but we'll call it a lake for this video. Always bypassing it, coming north from Keswick and Derwent up there, going down to uh, Grasmere and Windermere in the south. So, I only really see it out the window as I pass by. So, I thought I'd just uh, spend a few days trying to capture the essence of this place, really get to know this lake. It's not one of the most popular lakes in the Lake District, but uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. It's just a bit more difficult to photograph because of the surrounding trees, etc. I'm camped just over the hill there, that little campsite, so I'm really close to get out for early morning shots and be here for the, the best of the evening light. I've got lakeside views planned, as, but as well as uh, some higher viewpoints, there's some great views to be had from up on the upper hills. Nice walks up there to do, hopefully get a nice view down the lake, really capturing uh, some nice light on the hillsides there. So, if you want to join me on this little visit, you're quite welcome. Let's see what we can find. Well, my first viewpoint this afternoon is going to be right at the top north end of Thirlmere to a location called Raven Crag. That's where I'm parked just in the corner. So I'm going to climb up here to get a viewpoint looking all the way down the whole length of Thirlmere. And hopefully if the sun comes out, it'll be coming in from my right hand side as it will be in this direction, which should cast really nice light over on this side and give me a fantastic view. Just pretending to walk past as if there's a random camera there. Okay. So here we are up at the viewpoint and uh, what a view it is. Cracking view straight down south through Thomere. So we've got uh, the setup here with uh, Raven's Crag off to the right there. Um, I've got the camera on a 12 with a 12 millimeter lens. Free stop soft grad over the lens. Hold back that sky which is really good. Some really nice cloud coming across there. Um, I've gone for a slightly lower viewpoint here because I want to get underneath this tree. I've just got the branches overhanging, so I had to clear those. But there is another viewpoint just across there behind those trees there, but it looks like it's a little bit difficult to get to. But that would give a clearer view down Thelmere uh, with a cleaner shot of the edges. But um, I'm quite kind of liking this tree down here right in the foreground. There's a bit of autumn colour coming through on it, um, whether the light will catch that or not, but I really like that. So I'm, I'm sticking with this view, even though we've got a bit more trees in shot, but uh, clouds coming across as thick as anything still. Um, still another, at least another hour till sunset. So there's time for the sun to break through. At the moment, we're just gonna have to sit here and wait for that light. Still no light, still no light, still no light. Still no light, still no light. No, no, still no light, still no light. No light here. Nice flowers, no light. Nope. Well, it's not going to happen this afternoon. Luck's not on my side. Uh, it's just one of those things of landscape photography. So I'm just going to take a shot with what we got. It's all a bit flat, but we've still got the view. It's a shame. It's a shame. So because I didn't get the light, um, before I head back, I found this little composition here, which I'm really pleased with, may save the day on here. So I've got these branches that are down here on the ground and uh, 
I'm going to concentrate on them as being the landscape with just a slight view of Filmier at the very top of the frame. Different way of doing this location, but uh, yeah, with the soft light that we've got here, no direct sun, it's just looking quite nice. Well, it's just after sunrise on my second day and I'm heading round looking for some lakeside views looking north up Thirlmere. So uh, I'm just going down to check this first one here, see if we've got a nice viewpoint. Well, I found this little island to stand on here. Um, we get a nice clear view up Thirlmere there. Got the light drifting across the top of the hills and Skiddle in the background there. Um, I've just shot this as a panoramic because uh, it's not it's a wide open view here um, there's nothing in the foreground so I've shot it as a panoramic with the uh, the light hitting the hills there that's gonna look pretty good I put a little stopper on just to blur the water a bit because it's uh, there's obviously no reflection it's just quite breezy and it's just rippling the water so there's no interest there I keep getting rained on here there's a lot of rain in the air so I keep wiping the lens down but uh, I think I want something a bit in the foreground as well here. So there's a tree over there. I'm going to walk around there a bit further, see if I can uh, bring some foreground into this shot as well. Yeah, it's not a bad start. Just that cloud to keep breaking. We should get some good shots. So I've moved around the edge of the lake a bit more now. I found this nice group of trees here. Uh, still got the view looking north. You can see I'm working handheld here, tripods over there. Just because that rain keeps flying in and I'm trying to get quite a high viewpoint here. So uh, I thought I'd shoot handheld, which is obviously against the rules really, but um, because I'm trying to capture the, or freeze the movement in the trees, I'm using a higher ISO anyway. So the shutter speeds are up. So. I'm safe hand holding this. It's just uh, trying to work with the conditions, uh, shooting on the fly as it were. But yeah, it's a little bit blustery around here. But as long as we get this shot, it'd be worth it. Well, just before I head back for breakfast and when the rain stops, I've got this other really nice view just away from the lake now. I've got this nice barn underneath a group of trees, nice dry stone wall leading into shot. All set up to do the shot. I'm just waiting for that rain to stop now. But what I really like about this view is the way the, the line of trees kind of echoes the, uh, the hill or the mountain up there. The shape of it uh, kind of echoes the ridge so that works really well so you've got the the top of the uh, mountain the trees the barn dry stone wall a nice big boulder in the field for added foreground couldn't be better well apart from the rain This is one of the footpaths I was going to walk along to get to a viewpoint. You can see it's closed off at the moment. So I'm going to have to go elsewhere instead. Well, the weather is the complete opposite to as forecast. Uh, as you see, it's been raining all morning when it's meant to be dry, sunny. I thought I'd chance it and uh, I'm heading up to one of my viewpoints. So I've walked up through these forest of trees 
and I'm heading out almost to the top now don't know what it's going to be like when I get out it could be miserable it could be raining on me so better crack on Let's not forget you guys. Well, I made it to the top and I'm at a location called Harrop Tarn. But just as I arrived out the trees, it started raining again. So it's a really nice, uh, it's a really nice spot. You've got these um, nice lily pads in the foreground here line of trees and then the uh, hillside up there and this is where that top of that waterfall was so there's uh, a little bit of potential here when the rain stops I'm going to try and make a couple of exposures even if they are taken from under this umbrella Well, that's me wet through and uh, just about finished for the day. Let's we'll see what tomorrow brings. Well, I'm up at the uh, north end of Thelmere this morning, up on the dam, which is this bit. Uh, no real dramatic sunrise or anything, no colour. But at least it's not raining this morning. Well, I'm just doing a little panoramic from up here on the dam. Um, it's quite an open view up here, but it works quite well when there's some slight ripples in the water, giving it a little bit of shape down there. I say there's not much colour, but there's a very blue tinge of dawn, which will probably suit the scene quite well. So just capturing the strip across the middle there. There's some interesting shape with the hills come down towards the water's edge until we get some light and I'll move around a bit more. I think this will do for now. After waiting all afternoon that sun has finally appeared uh, I didn't have time to go up to a higher elevated viewpoint so I've come waterside to do these final shots lovely light across the water and the hills skiddle in the distance there at least to get one sunny shot out of this trip Well, the sun never did really materialise here in Thelmere. Well, apart from when it did. I suppose it wouldn't be the latest if it didn't rain all the time, but I've got some trip, more trips up here in the next couple of months, which I'll be videoing. So remember to press that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and see when they're uploaded. Otherwise, do go and check out my e subscription, which has even more videos, uh, technique guides, eBooks, image reviews, loads of content, and it's great value for money. And of course, it helps fund these free videos. So the more subscribers I get, the more I can keep doing these videos. Anyway, that's me finished at Thelmere. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. <music> <laughs>